All right, boys, what is going on today? We are about to be hitting a thousand miles in the dark horse. And uh, as you can tell by this, I hope I'm pointing to it. I did get a uh, Insta360 mount. So we're gonna get some GTA style shots in this video with some really, really cool exhaust clips. I'll show you guys the setup real quick. So obviously when the trunk goes down, this kind of hangs down back here and uh, you'll be able to see the whole car on the 360. And then we've got a GoPro set up in here for exhaust audio. It's gonna sound so good. So let's go ahead and step inside here and see exactly what miles we are at. All right, so right now we are at 986 miles. So we've only got about 14 miles to go until we are at a thousand. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment down below if you think that hitting a thousand miles in this is gonna make a difference or not. That's kind of the point of this video. Um, now, obviously it will make a little difference because I'll actually be able to take it up in the rev range and actually rev it out, but we're gonna try it hitting a thousand miles without a restart and then we're gonna go in and restart it. So that's kind of the plan here. Let's get some uh, driving. We've got a camera set up inside and then obviously we'll be throwing in that Insta360 when something cool happens. There's a cop kind of back behind me a little bit, so uh, we'll get a little bit of entry on a highway here, but nothing uh, nothing too crazy just because of that. And there's a semi truck in front of us, so and here we go, some exhaust notes. I love, I love that backfire between shifts. It is so amazing, dude. It's so good. All right, so we are at 990 miles right now. Let's get a uh, let's get a benchmark pull a little bit here, and uh, see what uh, see what it feels like before a thousand, and then we'll see what it feels like at a thousand. So this is 4K RPMs, 54 miles an hour. terrible um that sounded amazing we only took it up to 6k because again we're not technically broken in even though we're only like eight miles away from breaking um i still want to make sure that i am taking it easy on this car until it hits that exact break in and like i said we're gonna be on the highway um when we hit a thousand so we'll do a pull and then we're gonna pull off somewhere and uh let the car restart probably let it sit for a few minutes you know let everything power down and then we're gonna hit it again um, at a thousand and see if that makes any difference at all too. We are also in sport mode. I should have said that sport mode track exhaust um, Honestly, it's kind of the most enjoyable way to drive the car on the road I found so that's kind of what we're rocking with right now But uh, let's get closer to a thousand and uh, I'll see you guys then All right, so we are one mile away from a thousand miles and uh, we're gonna give it the same exact pull uh, We have an open road ahead of us. Nobody's really around other than behind so we got half a mile, but I'm thinking that uh, the car's gonna need a restart for it to really understand that it's done with braking. Um, and then obviously, you know, we'll see what happens if we take it higher up in red line, but with this next pull, I just wanna see what it feels like going to the same RPM, staying at that same RPM and kind of like easing into it just like I did before braking. And then uh, once we restart the car and maybe a pull before then too, just to get base marks, um, I'm gonna flat out shift it, or not flat foot shift it, but we're gonna we're gonna take it up to red line and here we go, a thousand miles. There we go. So let's go ahead and uh, slow down a little bit here, get down to third gear, and uh, see what happens here. So third gear, four thousand, and here we go. especially in third gear and I wasn't really flooring it so let's see um, maybe let's get another pull here and uh, see what it feels like if we do floor it because technically we are at a thousand miles now so there should be no need for us to uh, 
really worry about anything like that. So let's get a uh, let's get a floor here. See what it feels like. Once it gets up to 5,500, oh my god, you can just, it, honestly, I've driven turbo cars, like, for the past few years, I had that 400, well, 375 wheel horsepower WRX, and you can feel the turbo ramp up, that's honestly what this feels like once you get high in the RPM, so, man, let's find a, uh, let's find a cool road to turn around on and see, um, see what happens if we restart the car, you know, let it sit for a few minutes and, uh, go from there. All right, so we are about to be pulling off the highway and turning the car off, letting it completely restart. Let's see if we can find a good place to uh, pull over at. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere, so um, that might be hard to do. Oh no, I actually see a perfect place. We might actually get some cool shots while we're there too. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Now we can hit it a little bit in first gear and not feel bad. Uh, this does look like a little bit of gravelly, so we're not gonna pull in there. Uh, that would have been perfect right over there, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just keep going up this way, and uh, let's see. No outlet from there. I don't want to pull over at some like weird spot that I'm going to get like attention from, so uh, let's just pull over here. I think that this is perfect. Here we go. Yep, right in the fire department parking lot. Literally perfect. There we go. And we've got uh, burnout tracks here too, so I think it's chill. So we're just going to completely turn the car off. And uh, we're gonna also open the door. And then, you know what? I'm gonna walk away from the car too, just in case with the uh, key for some reason. I don't know, we'll lock it and everything and then uh, hop back in, see what happens. And right when I get back in the car, we've got railroad gates going down. So we're gonna have to wait for a minute now, but that's all right. All right, train is gone, all the other cars are gone. Let's get a thousand mile startup. See if it, it might sound different at startup, who knows, let's see. Sounds pretty normal. All right, so we are at 1,005.6 exactly on the dot. So we're gonna put this thing in sport mode. We're gonna put the exhaust in track and we're gonna head back on the highway and see if this makes any difference at all. I'm really honestly, I really think that it probably does. If I'm being completely honest, just from that little pull that we did at same RPM and everything, um, third gear felt a lot peppier, which means that it was holding back power. So I didn't feel that, um, that ramp up at 5,500 until after a thousand miles. So I, I really honestly think that there might be some sort of, uh, official breaking on these at a thousand. I mean, they did release that, uh, news article or whatever they released the update for the owner's manual that says a thousand miles. So, um, we're going to see, we are definitely going to see. Oh, but now we can just have fun in this car and not worry, dude. It's so awesome. I love it. This is what I bought this car for. I should never have any worries about just having fun in this car. Oh my gosh, I am <laughs> I am so hyped right now. Let's get a, this should sound cool. Oh yeah, all right. Let's get on the highway here. Oh my gosh, if you guys can't tell, I am, I am hyped right now. Entry. Okay, I have to be honest because I don't know if it's 100% braking or what, but this thing is a beast. I have not really beat on this car at all for these first thousand miles, um, and we'll beat on it harder after the first oil change, but dude, this thing is an absolute monster. All right, let's, let's wait for some traffic to clear. We'll get a pull, we'll flat out from 4K and third, 
and uh, we'll take it all the way to Redline. I don't even know how close I was to Redline there because I shift off sound most of the time. So let's see, uh, let's see if I was even close to Redline. I probably, honestly, wasn't. So let's see what happens once we, uh, once we get there. All right, here we go. It looks like some traffic is starting up ahead, so I want to make sure that I get this pull in. Flat out from 4K. Let's do it. All the way to red line. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah. Jeez, dude. from not not a uh, toy car either let me tell you what dude this thing is amazing and I don't know if you guys noticed that but I did flat foot shift there and it sounded so sick dude oh my god this is this is crazy man all the way up to 7500 this thing screams man this thing screams 10 out of 10 I didn't honestly want to give my true opinion of the Dark Horse until it was through break-in so I could actually have fun with it. And uh, wow, I, I am thoroughly impressed with this. Oh my gosh, no shot. We're rolling up next to a Mach 1 right now. We are literally rolling up to a Mach 1 right now. Somebody commented down below in the last video. I don't know if he notices. Does he? Does he notice? I don't think he wants it. We'll, we'll fly by him. Dude, the Mach 1, man. Let's see. Let's see if this guy wants to have any fun. I really want to see if he does. This is like the comparable car to this other than the GT350 because the Mach 1 also has some upgraded internals compared to just the regular GT. So let's see. Let's see. much fun but <laughs> that's sweet man a Mach 1 that is one of the most comparable cars that people are saying to the dark horse and uh, man let me just say again I love being able to beat on this thing that is amazing I can't believe that we ran into a Mach 1 while I'm running this new camera setup literally knew everything on the camera setup perfect timing that's sick man that's really cool let's see we might get him to go by the sun exhaust let's see That is so cool. That's sick, man. I That makes me so happy to see. I know that uh, it's mostly like younger guys that own these special models, but that was that was really cool to see. Just being able to see somebody, you know, up there in age a little bit, having fun with these newer muscle cars. That's, that is really what we want to see. Now maybe after, you know, me getting on the dark horse, I know the older guys are kind of hating on the dark horse a bit because it's new and, you know, people don't like change, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe that guy will spread the word that the Dark Horse is pretty cool. I also will say, um, this is going to be very expensive in gas. Uh, I had, I had like 120 miles and I've only drove 25 miles 
or maybe no we, we drove 35 miles but we've used uh over 50 miles in gas so um <laughs> this is going to be a little bit uh more draining for the gas on uh once we're actually able to open throttle but man this is so much fun let's go ahead and get home maybe we'll get some more exhaust clips for you guys but uh man mach 1 hitting a thousand miles it's a good day but honestly final thoughts as we get off of the highway here 10 out of 10 i definitely think that there is an official break-in and i think that you don't have to restart the car because just that ramp up that i felt from 5500 once we got up to a thousand miles we did not have that ramp up we did not have that ramp up before we were at a thousand so so we're gonna go ahead and sign this video off saying 10 out of 10 on the dark horse cool dude in the mach 1 um, I think he was with his wife too. That's that's super cool to see. But uh, we'll get one pass underneath this highway and call it a video. So if you guys liked it, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next one.